Can a man apply for a domestic violence interdict? Yes, anyone who is a victim of domestic violence can apply irrespective of gender of either the victim or the perpetrator. Must I be married to the person to apply? No, if you are in a domestic relationship, you can apply. Being married is not required. It's optional. How long is the final domestic violence order valid? Five years. It's optional. Can I go to the domestic violence court in order to ask for maintenance money? No, you cannot. You must approach the maintenance court for this. The domestic violence court can grant emergency financial relief, but this is not the same thing as maintenance. What are the effects of domestic violence? Domestic violence can cause death, illness, injury and disability. Domestic and family violence is the leading cause of death, illness and disability for women aged under 45. Emotional and psychological trauma. The devastating impact on an individual's physical, mental and emotional health including depression, shame, anger and suicide. Homelessness. Nearly one third of people seeking help from homelessness services say domestic and family violence is an issue. Abuse of alcohol and other drugs to attempt to deal with the situation. Physical injuries and health problems which may not get medically treated. What are the effects of domestic violence on children? Compared with other children, those who have witnessed domestic violence experience far greater incidence of sleeping problems, bedwetting, learning difficulties, self-harm, aggressive and antisocial behaviours, depression and anxiety. Even worse, children who witness domestic violence are more prone towards domestic violence themselves when they are adults with boys often becoming offenders, victims or both, and girls more likely to become victims. Does alcohol or drugs play a role in domestic violence? Yes, it appears there is a link between many instances of domestic violence and alcohol and drug abuse. One often finds that just after payday, there is an increase in the occurrence of domestic violence that can be linked to payday drinking or drug abuse. Why do victims of domestic violence not just leave the abusive relationship? It is not easy as the victim is often dependent on the perpetrator. Often this dependence is financial. Furthermore, the perpetrator often convinces the victim that the violence is the fault of the victim and breaks down the victim's self-esteem to the point where the victim believes they deserve the abuse. We need to be very careful not to blame the victim for not just leaving. It is important to remember, leaving is a process and not an event. Society has a responsibility to support the one that is considering leaving. All agencies can play a role in providing support during a victim's help-seeking process. A positive initial response is crucial. Victims need to be believed, supported and encouraged to take positive steps for their own safety and well-being. What is a domestic violence safety plan? A personal safety plan is a way of helping the victim to protect themselves and their children. It helps the victim plan in advance for the possibility of future violence and abuse. It also helps to think about how they can increase their safety either within the relationship or if they decide to leave. A safety plan is a harm reduction technique to ensure safety in the instance where the victim cannot immediately leave the perpetrator or be safe from the abuse. A partner's violence and abuse cannot be stopped by the victim. Only the perpetrator can do that. But there are things the victim can do to increase their own and their children's safety. Plan in advance how you might respond in different situations, including crisis situations. Think about the different options that may be available to you. 
keep with you any important and emergency telephone numbers. Teach your children to call 10111 in an emergency and what they would need to say, for example, their full name, address and telephone number. Are there neighbours you could trust and where you could go in emergency? If so, tell them what is going on and ask them to call the police if they hear sounds of a violent attack. Rehearse an escape plan so in an emergency you and the children can get away safely. Pack an emergency bag for yourself and your children and hide it somewhere safe, for example at a neighbor's house or a friend's house. Try to avoid mutual friends or family. Try to keep a small amount of money on you at all times, including change for the phone or for bus fares. Know where the nearest phone is and if you have a mobile phone, try to keep it with you. If you suspect that your partner is about to attack you, try to go to a lower risk area of the house, for example where there is a way out and access to a telephone. Avoid the kitchen or garage where there are likely to be knives or other weapons and avoid rooms where you might be trapped, such as the bathroom or where you might be shut into a cupboard or other small space. Be prepared to leave the house in an emergency. Domestic violence is everyone's problem. Even if you are not a victim, you may know someone that is. Together we must make domestic violence unacceptable while we support the victims of domestic violence. Domestic violence is a global issue reaching across national boundaries as well as socio-economic, cultural, racial and class distinctions. It is a problem without frontier. Not only is the problem widely dispersed geographically, but its incidence is also extensive, making it a typical... Domestic violence is not an isolated individual event, but rather a pattern of repeated behaviours that the abuser uses to gain control over the victim. Domestic violence tends to become more frequent and severe over time. Oftentimes, the abuser is physically violent sporadically, but uses other controlling tactics on a daily basis. All tactics have profound effects on the victim. Perpetrators of domestic violence can be found in all age, racial, ethnic, cultural, socio-economic, linguistic, educational, occupational and religious groups. Domestic violence is found in all types of intimate relationships, whether the individuals are of the same or opposite sex, are married or dating, or are in a current or past intimate relationship. It is a terrible and recognizable fact that for many people, home is the least safe place. Domestic violence is real violence, often resulting in permanent injuries or death. Battering is a widespread societal problem with consequences reaching far beyond individual families. It is conduct that has devastating effects on individual victims, their children and communities. In addition to these immediate effects, there is growing evidence that violence within the family becomes the breeding ground for other social problems such as substance abuse, juvenile delinquency and violent crimes of all types. Domestic violence against women is not merely a domestic issue, but rather a complex socio-economical crisis that threatens the interconnected equilibrium of the entire social structure. Start with yourself. What is your attitude towards domestic violence and how can you be a positive catalyst for change?